Hey everybody, it's Tanisha here, and I'm here to talk about April's budget. Now this, what we're seeing right now, is not the budget. This is the projected budget. I just have it on this page really quick so I can talk for a second um, before I flip over and show you what April's actuals are. I think I basically want to say um, this whole journey for me recording my budgets, recording the money that comes in and goes out is actually giving me amazing insight to my financial life, my budget life. Um, I always knew I was kind of magical when it comes to money, but I never really documented the process or exactly how it happens. I've had people over years ask me questions like how do you do that how do you do this how do you you know how do these things happen for you and you know what I still don't know the answer I still don't know the answer what I know is this at the beginning of April I projected that I would bring in seven thousand five hundred and eighty eight dollars in income I knew that I had some things lined up with the stars to bring in more money but nothing was concrete if it's not concrete I don't add it to my budget if it is concrete, I do. For example, in May, I know <laughs> that I'll be getting a $21 Ebate check. So that's in my May budget. But I don't make predictions. Um, even in everything that I knew would be coming in in April, other things flowed in that I was not even ex ex expecting. So I'm going to flip the page over now. And we're going to take a look at what April's story is. Okay. Here is April's review. I predicted 7,000, well, I um, anticipated $7,588 coming in in income. I actually bought in $12,045 in income. April was another $12,000 month. Again, that income is the income I make after taxes, after um, expenses are taken out like 401k, health insurance and such. And that income doesn't even, that only includes profit. It doesn't include like the rent I get paid and the expenses that has to come out. So if my rent is one thing, I only include the profit that I make from my rent. What's amazing even to me about making this is, as you see, last month, I wanted to make over $12,000, but I was already anticipating making 11000 so it wasn't a big stretch. This month, huge, huge stretch. And you know what? That $12,000 didn't even include my federal tax return. I'm not including that money and I may make another video on it because I have to do I have to do a, I have to redo my taxes. And I believe that when I redo them, I'm going to have to probably give back all or most of the federal income tax return, so I did not even count it in this number. All right. So, where did the 12,000 come from? Again, several sources. I have multiple streams of income. Um I think Oh, I changed over car insurances. Oh, Geico. Oh, uh, that's a whole nother story in itself. They try to raise my insurance from $185 a month to like $340 a month. Are you kidding me? I was like, you skipped the whole 200s and jumped straight to three. So, of course, I had to go and find more new insurance. And my new insurance is actually $5 cheaper. It's $180 a month. And so with that, I think I had like a $48 check that came back. I, um, oh, one of the most amazing things, I actually received um, prize money. I was selected to receive prize money. I can't really disclose the details about the money because I was told not to, but a big amazing chunk of that came from this unexpected windfall that fell into my life. Um, so yeah, this was just a two paycheck month. It wasn't even a three paycheck month. And so anyway, so 
there we go. Again, like I said, I set my intentions at the beginning of the month, what I would like to do. And I just watch in amazement how the universe provides, regardless of what you're asking for, regardless of why you're asking for it. If you go in it with complete faith that it is coming to you, it is amazing watching it actually show up and the evidence appear in your life. Okay. So with that, gifts. Again, all right. So in pink I highlighted the things for where I did better than I anticipated purple is is the gray area it's like eh, it's not bad it's not good it is what it is blue is where I did a little worse than I um anticipated so $1,320 in gifts gifts includes whatever I may buy for birthday gifts whatever I give during fundraisers whatever I just give because I'm on um what's that thing called GoFundMe and I like picking random things to just send money to and then also what happened is oh <laughs> it's purple all right so I seen this clip on YouTube the color purple on Broadway I've already seen it but my mother and my grandmother hadn't seen it. And I knew that it would be an amazing experience for them to see it. So I went ahead and I made it happen. So I'm putting that in gifts because it is a gift. So $650 of that is for our three tickets to see The Color Purple on Broadway. Um, we're going to do that in July. But of course I paid for it this month. $95 HOA. If it's not highlighted, it's right on target. This right here is what I had anticipated originally at the beginning of the month. This column right here is what actually happened. Okay, electricity 200, cell phone 245, cable 160, securities, that's my home security systems, 125 a month. Car stuff, I anticipated $90 in actuality, it came to 135. Why? Because, uh, okay, I had my car inspected this month. I budgeted $20 for that. It actually only cost me about $15. And my car failed. Amazing. So funny. My car has a big old fat rejection sticker on it. I need new brakes. And it's all good because, you know, we save our money for things like this. So it, it's not even phasing me. I'm going to go ahead and get brakes, brake pads. I was like, great. I have a 14-day grace period. So what that means is I'm going to call around and try to find the best deal that I can. Also, $50 is that was my um, Easy Pass toll re-up. We went to New York at the beginning of this month. And, you know, the tolls. So normally my tolls would be about $25 whenever it gets low. And they had to hit me twice with $25 just to catch my account back up. That doesn't include the money that my friends paid for their portions of the toll. That's just the money that's coming out of my pocket for um, my easy pass. Netflix, $10. New York City, we talked about that in the last video, $150. Virginia Beach, I went to my sister's house warm and I budgeted $100 for that. That does not include the gift. That was just the, um, you know, gas, food, whatever else. Only spent $55. It was amazing. My sister had amazing food. Um, I didn't have to spend money to eat out and it was all good. My friend Q came with me, so that was great. Insurances, what is that? Car insurance and some other insurance. $210, Jamaica, talked about that in the last video, we decided to go to Jamaica in August, so $650 is what I paid, um, we get another person to go, $325 will be coming back to me, all good, check-in, that right there is when I say, like I try to keep um, a certain amount of money in my checking account to kind of be a cushion in case I write a check for something in case there's something that I didn't anticipate. I'm also realizing that this 160 is also almost like gap insurance. Um, well, not even 160, the one whatever. I would think I did 125 per check. So like for instance, today is May 1st. I don't get paid again till May something. So I have this 125 cushion and checking account to pay for life until I get paid again. Um, that's the money that I just had to add, so I didn't have to use that whole 250, just the 160 to bring it up to that 125 in my account between paychecks or whatever that's called. I was so sick and tired of wearing my glasses because I ran out of contact lenses, so I went ahead and had my eye exam, paying attention to budget these days. Who knew that? Contacts aren't even really covered in your vision insurance. So $85 is what came out of my pocket, and that doesn't even include the contact lenses, which I'll probably 
by sometime soon. Also, <laughs> see the thing about making extra money is you also spend extra money, but the good thing is I'm debt free minus the house. So, you know, that's the fun part. You get this wiggle room to do extra things. So I paid $1,500 toward a Mediterranean cruise that I will be going on by myself in September. It's going to be so much fun. That's not the complete cost, but that's what I paid so far. And in that price is also the price of a seminar that I'll be taking while on the cruise. Abraham Hicks seminar. Yay, yay, yay. $20 in taxes. Last month, I said five eighty dollars for my taxes. My taxes actually came up to $600 to have them prepared. So I guess because I have um, one too many businesses and uh, each form, you know, more, it costs more money. All right. This right here is all that um, extracurricular stuff that I don't necessarily budget for, but my goal is to just to try to do better this month than I did last month. This column right here is last month. This is this month. And g gas for my car. Last month I um, spent one ninety. This month I spent two twelve. Even though it's highlighted in blue, it is not. It's all good for me because that included driving to New York as well as driving to and from Virginia Beach. So that two twelve is all good. And was actually a lot of it was actually already in my budget. Budget, like for instance, this Virginia Beach right here where I say I spent fifty five dollars. That included gas money, so it's probably, it probably shouldn't even go like this, but it did. Oh, I'm just realizing I forgot something. Okay, restaurants, 177 this month, so I did better, and what I like about that is, again, that 177 includes the restaurants that I spent while in New York. It also includes, um, I was in Richmond, and... I picked up the tab for five of us went out to lunch and I picked up the tab and so it includes that too and then groceries 168 this month all good I don't even think I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store like this first week in May I have enough food um, to last miscellaneous I'm realizing that that miscellaneous is a little wrong well actually it's not wrong what it covers is I decided to start another business this month a hundred and sixty dollars of that is the um is what I paid for a coach in this business. So I'm gonna be coached in my new business and we'll see what happens. What you're gonna see in my income is gonna be the profit from the business. You're not gonna see expenses because I'm going I'm funding I'm cash flowing this business from my savings account, which of course we don't talk about how much is even in my savings account so I'm gonna cash flow it from there so we're not gonna see it as expenses only thing you will see is um, this coaching fee and my another fee my the um, site fee and then we would just see pure profit in my income so I'm not sure when I'll stop making a profit but hey it's gonna be fun to see and see what happens savings last month I said 290 but then I had the intention that I wanted to save at least 1000 I saved nine hundred and ninety eight dollars in my savings account and the reason why is because I switched up what I want to do for mortgage at the last minute so I have a lot of games I play one of the games playing off my mortgages I make a chart for every thousand dollars that I pay off and I think I was $300 short on, my, on the next $1,000 increment. So I, bought, I took the money from my savings to make that mortgage goal. And then I started um, funding extra money that I was getting back to my savings again. So that's why that's $981. But with my mortgage, what I did, I did something a little different. I combined my mortgage, which is $3,100 a month, with what I pay extra simply because it felt better to me that way. Before I did that, I was looking at my money like, dang, what did I spend my money on? But then when I combined my mortgage with the extra that I paid, I felt much better about that money, about that, you know, about what everything looked like. And remember, um, one of the things I do in life is I move by how I feel. I try to make things so that I can feel 
as positive and as good about them as possible. So I felt better combining the money. The, combining the money, combining the total felt better to me than leaving them two separate. One I had mortgage and I had extra mortgage payment. Just the combining it one time um, feels better. I like the energy and the momentum of that. So what I actually paid toward my mortgage this month is $4,969. That is an extra $1,869 that was sent to my mortgage. That, my friends, is what my April money story is. And so once again, I ask you, what is the story that your money told about you? in the month of April. Until the next video, guys, have a great, great Sunday.